Got another review for you today. This time it's of Nori the Dwarf from The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey and it's by Weta Workshop. Nori is the latest statue to come out from the from the Hobbit trilogy. He leaves us just four dwarves short of having all the dwarves. So hopefully with Comic Con coming up, we might be able to close out the dwarves or come, you know, within a couple of, of closing him out. Nori is got an addition size of a thousand pieces and he is in stock right now he is two hundred and fifty dollars so he's not too bad uh, just a little you know preview before we get started Nori's got a nice action pose with a really great uh, crazy look to his face so really well done I love the statue um, he's in stock like I said so you can get him right now let me get Nori set up and we'll get Nori set up uh, like I said, Nori has an addition size of a thousand pieces. He is sculpted by Scott Spencer, who has also sculpted the Bomber statue and the Thorin statue. So he's so far had three of the dwarves. Um, he did a really fantastic job with the other two that continues here with, with Nori. Uh, I like Nori's statue pose. It's just, I mean, it's got, it's got some action to it. It's got a feel. Um, I do know that the dwarves are supposed to be kind of paired with Azog on his ward and this one definitely fits. I mean he looks like he's about to leap off of something and go after Azog. Um, just really great detail. Kind of do the little 360 view for you here. Just a really fantastic job on this particular statue. Alright, going for some closer details. I'll admit, on Nori, his look initially took me a little bit of getting used to with the starfish hair and stuff. He was one of the ones that I was kind of like, I don't know. But having seen it in, in motion now with two movies, I think it came out pretty good. I love the, the clothing detail. You can really see the lines like it's supposed to be cloth, I think. You got the great dwarven, you know, lines in, in the in the middle with the leather work. His belt is really neat. I love that belt buckle. Um, he's got two big old knives back here in the back for easy access. There's his mace. He's also got a knife down here in the back of his boot. You've of course got the, you know, map base, which I I know I've said before in written reviews, but I just love I just love those bases. They're something very special to a lot of us collectors that have been collecting Middle Earth pieces going back to before you know with the Lord of the Rings line of statues and, and, and those simple bases and those will be coming back for Lord of the Rings with Weta having you know one six scale Lord of the Rings statue license again. Um, got some great dwarven detailing in his arm guards. Uh, you've got his giant mace. I guess it's a mace. I don't. I, I don't. I don't know what you would call this. Actually, um, if you know, uh, put it in the comment section and let me know exactly what this type of weapon is called. It's also got a neat little piece of leather right there. And I know I saw some people mention that they thought this was like one of the first times that Weta had done that, and it's not. The reins on the ring wraith on Steed statue are also this kind of leather material. So it's not the first time, and of course they've used string on the bows and stuff, but it's not the first time they've used a little bit of leather on a statue, which is kind of neat that they did. Um, just kind of keep giving you some, some looks. Like I said, Nori is the ninth dwarf in the series, leaving us four short. So hopefully, like I said, we'll be able to get uh, all the dwarves may be completed by Comic Con. I don't, I don't think that will happen because I think they're going to have a couple of Lord of the Rings things to show, some stuff from Dawes to put in, 
um, or I guess I should say Desolation of Smaug, it's DAWs is the acronym people use on the computers. Uh, so I expect maybe a couple of dwarves to be there, some stuff from, from the second movie from Desolation of Smaug. I expect a few pieces from Lord of the Rings to be there as well. So maybe not all of them completed in one Comic Con. Just really nice. Here's his boot. Uh, the, the dimensions on Dory, he's 11 inches high with this, with this particular pose. 9.1 inches wide, 5.5 inches deep. So he doesn't take up a lot of space in, in your cabinet because obviously the dwarves are smaller. Even with this more acrobatic and um, fighting type pose and compared to some of the other dwarves that we've seen. So really nice job. Love the details. I love the the crazy look that they gave Nori because to me he seems like a crazy guy. So I think it's fitting that he gets kind of a crazy look pose. Jed Brophy's done an excellent job with him. I'm glad to see him get a central role in the movies uh, where he's more than just a random orc or elf or Gondorian soldier or Rohirrim soldier or whatever. So it's nice to see that. Uh, just a really fantastic piece. $250. A uh, thousand piece edition size from Weta Workshop. I know I've repeated some of these facts several times, but make sure that way people don't miss. I'll back up and give you one more good 360 viewing of Nori. I love that angle right there. All right, guys, that's it for Nori. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Um, I don't have anything coming in right away, but Comic-Con is rolling up, and if it's like last year, they, they had a couple of statues in stock. So I might have something for you when I get back from Comic-Con. But till next time, guys, thanks for the support. Appreciate it.